Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel Simply Carolyn. If you are not subscribed, I would love to have you. And if you are subscribed, welcome back. Today I'm coming back to you with another stimulus update. I will continue to bring updates daily as everything unfolds just to keep you guys up to date. Now if you see me looking down, I have my notes here so that's what I'm doing. I had to jot some stuff down to keep from forgetting what I was trying to discuss. So today I will be discussing three different topics. Um, one of them is direct payments, the other one is unemployment, and the last one is student loans. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. This first one will be about direct pay uh, payments. And as I mentioned in yesterday's video, it looks like for the new direct stimulus payment, it will be another $1,200 check. So eligible people for this payment will include adults claimed as dependents in the first stimulus. They were not eligible to get this payment. So in this next one, they will be eligible and they will be getting a $1,200 payment. So eligible people for this payment will include adults that was claimed as dependents, like I said, that did not get a direct payment from the last ones. Folks that receive uh, Social Security, Supplemental Security Income, VA benefits, SSDI benefits, and railroad benefits. Those recipients will also qualify for the payment under the HEALS Act. And the HEALS Act stands for Health Economic This is a long acronym, y'all. It stands for Health Economic Assistance, Liability, Protection, and Schools Act. They are trying to get something in place to keep the schools from getting sued whenever they send the children back. So to me, that lets me know that these people already know that these kids are going to be at risk. So may God be with them. And that HEALS Act um, was proposed by Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. And also moving forward, if there is more stimulus, and I really do believe that there will be, y'all, there's no way that this is going to be the last stimulus. But if there's more stimulus coming, then they will also be included. Those recipients that I just named will also be included in the stimulus moving forward. And as of now, there is no cap on the number of children and dependents get, that can be claimed, unlike the previous package. But it doesn't mean that that won't change. Also, your stimulus payment will be safe from federal and state collections with the exception of if you owe back child support. So if you owe back child support, this payment will go to your child support debt. And I don't know, I, I think at this point with the way everything is going, they should also try to let that, well, I can't say my opinion don't matter y'all but you'd think that because of the state of everything and what's going on that they wouldn't hold if they're not gonna hold state and federal debt that they wouldn't hold the child support debt as well but like i said that's just my belief or my feelings about it so we'll see and also as far as unemployment the unemployment now that's in place recipients are getting six hundred dollars a week and that is set to phase out at the end of the month so when that phase out they're they're trying to propose a plan that will um reduce to 200 to a 200 dollar payment for the next two months and then 70% of your formal wage instead of just cutting it off. So I think that's, you know, that's understandable because unemployment is some of uh, unemployment is all the income that some people have. They are also in hopes that that will give the people that are um drawing this $600 a week uh stimulus, they're hoping that that will give them the incentive and the willingness to go back to work instead of being paid more to stay home and to collect unemployment but also for some people the $600 a week is more than they're making you know with their regular paycheck so 
I could understand them saying, okay, if they're going to pay me $600 to stay home, then I'm going to stay home. But you know what? I knew that they would eventually figure that out and just go ahead and stop that. So, But at least the $200 for the next two months is better than nothing instead of them just cutting it off. So, Also, with student loans, um, Lamar Alexander proposed that under a new payment plan, that they would allow if the student didn't have no income then they would have no monthly payments they will be working with each student on an individual basis with their federal student loan debt so y'all if y'all have student loans and you don't have a way to pay it keep your eyes on what's going on because they're going to start rolling out some things and plans that'll help you so that your stuff won't go into um forbearance or that you know you won't get messed up behind that. So the House, which is control of the Democrats, they passed their proposal called the HEROES Act on January 31st. And they are saying that they are willing and ready to work with Republicans to come to an agreement. So y'all, I don't know. Hey y'all. Look who's back here with me tonight. He come to visit me. My son just let him in. And I just asked him, who in the world asked him to let him in? So I guess he was outside my door trying to get in. He won't sit still. Tell the family hi, since you're going to be back here. Tell them hi. Mackie. Mack. Tell the family hi. Tell them hi. Say, I'm the big baby. Tell him I'm the big baby. Say, I am the big baby in the house. I love my mama. I'm trying to chew my pen now, y'all. Everything bothers Mr. Midnight. You gonna tell him hi? Huh? Hey. Hey. You gonna tell him hi? Say hi. Say hi. I'm Mr. Midnight. The big baby. And I the big baby. Alright, y'all. So, I had to cut my stimulus update off because of technical difficulties so let me come on back and finish this up for y'all and the only thing new that I have is that there are new proposals um, because at the end of July everything was set to expire as well as the unemployment and the um, the mandate on the non eviction so they were hoping to come to an agreement so that they wouldn't be facing a people wouldn't be facing a mass eviction and that's that's only going to make things worse in a bad situation it'll make things worse so it looks like um what they are trying to do until they can actually get something in place is they have another proposal that senator mitt romney and a other and a couple of other um senators have proposed and they are calling it the coronavirus assistance for american families act and it offers everyone with a social security number a one thousand dollar payment adults and children as well as dependents and that was built to help the families that were hit the hardest And let's see what else I have. I've already spoke about the evictions. And also, um, they're trying to put something in place for unemployment, which would give them a three-month extension and then reevaluate that at the end of the three months. So, y'all, all we can do is pray. And hope that this thing gets better before it gets worse. And I will continue to bring y'all as much information as I can. 
as new things unfold. So I doubt it'll be daily because they've not been doing a whole lot of um, updates for new things. They've just been repeating mostly some of the same things they've been repeat they've been saying from the beginning. But they have until the, um, August 6th, I believe, when Congress will, that'll be their last day to work. And they're supposed to be going on this long um, vacation or leave. So that'll be another month. If they decide, if they don't come to an agreement, that'll be another whole month without, you know, any stimulus or unemployment relief if they don't get something wrapped up and done so hopefully they can get that done and we can continue life you know i guess it'll never be life as we knew it because everything is just changing so we're going to have to just be wise about our spending be wise about our decision making trust god and use what we got until we can do better so with that being said, y'all, I'm going to cut this off and I will see you guys on my next stimulus update. Y'all, don't forget to stay safe and stay blessed. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. But y'all, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys on my next video. I love you. Bye.